Hey Tersh and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the third installment of my Drawing Euro C series. Um, basically in the series, you guys, the subscribers, will get to send Euro C designs to me and I'll pick a couple to draw each episode. If you guys would like to see parts 1 and 2, I'll be creating a playlist and linking it in the description for you guys to check it out so you can see them and binge them after the video. As you can see, I did the sketch off camera as usual, and I'm starting out by lining. I like using microns because they don't smudge as much as other liners, and as usual, I'll be using the black, brown, and red ones. So for this episode, I picked three OCs um, from the ones that you guys sent to me, and I'll be drawing them in my sketchbook on one page. I'll be talking more about them and like the information given during the coloring portion of this video, however, I thought I'd introduce them first. So the OC at the very top is named How, the half body one doing the peace signs pose on the right is called Rin, and the one at the bottom is named Youth. I love the OCs I picked this time because drawing them meant that I had to like go out of my comfort zone in some way for each of time that I drew them. However, I loved how all of them turned out and I'm excited for you guys to see it. Unlike the other like past drawing ROCs video, this one didn't really have a theme when I chose the characters, I just kind of chose them randomly, and I was actually looking at older submissions as well. If you guys are wondering, you can submit your OCs by emailing them to me at hershidrawsyt at gmail.com, but please make sure to put the OC in, like, OC, all caps, in the title of your email so I can see it when I'm, like, filtering through to look at older submissions. I would appreciate if you guys could put information about the OC as well because I love sharing your stories and, like, backstories and everything with the rest of my audience. Also, it seriously amazes me how you guys come up with these designs, because when I was looking through all the OC submissions, they all looked so creative, and I cannot figure out how to make a hairstyle not look boring for the life of me, but seeing all of your like different and various hairstyles gave me so much inspiration. I think a big thing that stopped me from like designing original characters was because I only knew how to draw straight hair, and I never really experimented um, with like, the way that I would draw it, and it would basically always look the same. It was kind of like same face syndrome, but for hair. Anyways, I think I'm slowly growing out of that and I'm pushing myself to stylize the differences between like for example thick and thin hair or like wavy and straight hair. After I mastered these, I think I can move on to drawing like coils or frizzy hair because I really want to draw those and I want to design my OCs with them. Going back to the line art process, it went pretty smoothly. I mainly used brown to line the first and the last OC because they both had softer color palettes, but I mainly used black for the second one because it had a, had a darker like hair color so I just thought it looked better. Right now, I'm just outlining the OC's name next to each of them. Last time, I did the names of the people who sent them to me because most of the OC's didn't have a name that I picked last time, but either way, let me know which one you prefer. Also, I'm sorry if your OC did not get chosen. I can only do three or like two per each video because that's all I have time for, but you always have a chance in the next video. Also, you don't need to resend it because we all be looking at old email submissions as well, so don't worry about that. So the first OC I'm coloring is called Hao, and they were sent to me by Karo. Hao is based on the character Hu Tao from Genshin Impact, which is kind of why their hair matches. Um, that's what it said in the email. So according to the email again, he is a student that's studying fashion, and he is very loud. He also has two other crazy friends who are still being designed at the moment, and they weren't included in the email. I think the first thing that I noticed about Hao was his color scheme, which is basically like a dark red and light purple. The colors look really nice against each other, and I love his haircut as well, and the way that's like going from a gradient, like light to dark at the top. Um, I like to start coloring by light, light colors, and then I go to dark later because I just find that's the easiest way to do it for me. I mainly use my Who's um, from the Skin Tone set or the Pastel set for this hair, and they blend together really nicely. I don't think I added any like shading or like you can see that I didn't add like the usual highlights that I do because there's already a gradient and I didn't really want to take away from that too much so I just kind of kept it as it is um, but later on I do like go in and draw hair strands using the white gel pen so it doesn't just like look like a big blob for his skin I use the base color again from the Uhu skin tone set a lot of the markers in that set are actually beginning to dry out now though I am kind of surprised because they lasted this long because it's been like more than a year since I first got them so slay to Uhu um, I would definitely recommend getting that set by the way because it's a huge upgrade and it's also a really good, has a lot of variety. I also added tons of super saturated blush right under Hao's eyes, which is something that I like started to do a lot. I don't think I did it with Rin, the second OC, because she had a paler complexion, but it's super fun and it adds so much life to your character and also blending it out is super satisfying to watch and like sped up. I also drew Hao at an angle that you can't see the earring on his other side, which I think is on his right ear, so I'm kind of sad about that because I really wanted to draw it because characters with earrings just hit different, but anyways, yeah. 
I also decided to make like a prominent light source coming from the left side of the page so I added darker shadows using purple and I blended it out using like a blush color and the base color um, I think it looks really good I used to do this like blending method so much and now I'm like starting to go back into it also if you're wondering the white stripe that's like on his um, sweater is actually just the bag that he was wearing um, it was in the reference picture so I decided to include it in this picture as well for his sweater, I used the washed out purple color and I added shadows with a slightly darker one since I didn't want it to be super saturated since the other parts of him already were. And I also used some of the skin color as an accent for it and I really liked the effect that it gave. The second OC is named Rin and they were sent to be Kyo Rin, I think. So they sent two OCs but I just picked one of them to draw today. They haven't planned out the story for either of the OCs but they are meant to be like the modern JP world which I think is pretty cool. I love the design for this OC, especially her clothes. I think it's really cool to see that because like all her layered clothes and it just looks so good together. I also love the colors because it's mainly blues and blacks which I think is a super cool color scheme. Something cool about this character is that they're hetero they have heterochromic eyes, which I think is the term for people who have like two different colored eyes. Basically, one of the eyes was brown and the other was black, which I think looks really cool. I didn't do any dramatic lighting for this one like I did with How because I, I just thought it wouldn't look that good. Also, I didn't go overboard with the blush because the skin tone is a lot paler, like I mentioned before. Rin also has a gradient hair color. Um, I think that's like a kind of common theme with the OCs that I picked in this video. Uh, but basically the top is like a really dark blackish blue color and the tips are like a sandy light pink sort of color It was kind of hard to like color match because I had to layer the colors a lot And also the reference picture that they sent was done digitally so it was a bit of a struggle but I think I did well I did go over it, the, the top of the hair which is like a really saturated blue using grey as the undertone Because it was really saturated and that was, a, that was not like similar to the reference that they gave me also, I used the light blue and purple to blend the two hair colors together, and I think it actually looked, ended up looking really good. I also added like a hair highlight on the top, which you can see. Like I mentioned before, I love the blue tones in her clothes. It looked messy at first, and I promise it will get better. This is just the ugly phase of the drawing. Um, eventually, I did use the white gel pen to fix up some parts and like clean up the lines. So just stay till the end, it will look better. Also, can we take a moment to practice it to appreciate the hands because I was so proud of how they turned out. I did slightly mess it up while doing the liner and it definitely did look better as a sketch, but we're not going to talk about that. But the more I look at it, the more uneven and out of proportion it looks, so we'll just move on. I've been kind of in an arc alcohol marker art block for the first time. It's weird because this never happened before, but I'm kind of starting to like get bored and like start hating using markers because I've been using them so much. Basically, this entire sketchbook is like me using alcohol markers or like graphite pencils. I haven't done any painting so far, um, mainly because like I don't know I haven't been in that mood. But I am getting back into it. You can kind of see like on the side of the paper I did use a water I did do a watercolor painting, but I am really excited for you guys to see my sketchbook during the sketchbook tour. Anyways, I quickly added highlights to the first two OCs using my white gel pen. Like I mentioned before, I fixed up the clothes and added some extra details. And I also spelled out Kyorin um, on the OC's like crew neck sleeve because that's what it was like in the design. Now I'm adding the eye highlights for how. And I like as I mentioned before, I also separated the hair strands. And I think it looks a lot better now. Now moving on to the final OC, her name is Youth and was said to be by Sakura Draws. According to the email, Youth lives in a forest with her sister and also sells strawberries in a nearby town. She's also made a few new friends, but the like overall story hasn't been very developed yet. It's just kind of like the beginning, the overall theme. I love OCs like this because their like stories are so wholesome and cute, and there's so many cute moments that you can imagine the OC going through. I also love the simplicity of it and I love Youth's design because of the color contrast between her hair and her blue dress. Actually now that I'm thinking about it, the color theme for this one might be like blue and brown because all the OC is kind of half that. Anyways, the two flowers on her hair was super cute addition to the design and for once I didn't butcher drawing them because I have this thing, I always make the petals super uneven and it annoys me to no end but I think these turned out pretty good because I didn't like go super crazy with the flower designs. Also, drawing flowers is something that I kind of struggle with and I'd like to get better so maybe I should do like a drawing session with just flowers or like flower studies. I don't know. Anyways, I did a simple half body pose for youth because I already did like a super dynamic one for Rin, who's the second OC by the way. I think it fits youth's personality pretty well, um, so I'm pretty sure I did good at that. 
I also love drawing characters with like flowy dresses or skirts. It's kind of like a comfort thing at this point and I tend to do it a lot. So I had a lot of fun shading that. Something about this character that I also really love is how the hair and the skin color kind of blend into each other because they're like really similar in shading. Um, it's always so satisfying to draw them, so yeah. Also, also again, I went, I went overboard with the blush, but I chose a pinkier tone for this one since Youth's like design was a lot more cool. Whereas with Hao, his design like was a lot more warmer, so I chose like an orange tone blush for him. Unfortunately, my phone did die while I was filming this part, so you can see there was like a weird time skip here. But basically, I used a super dark blue to add shading to the blue parts of her dress, and I blended out using the lighter blue that I used as a mid-tone. Also, I kind of forgot to add in the bow while I was sketching it at like the beginning of the video. So I had to free line it while I was doing the rest of the piece. Honestly, it came out pretty good. I think I did pretty good for this. I also really like the hair, specifically the way that I did the liner because it's like, it looks super flowy, especially the ends. I just think it looks super cute and yeah. It's also been a while since I've drawn a character with the middle part, so that was a lot of fun since most of the characters that I draw have bangs in like some way, shape or form. So this is a lot of fun and pretty unique for me. For the finishing touches, I added bubbles around everyone. I did purple for Hao to match his sweater, a dusty pink for Rin to go with like the ends of her hair, and I did a pastel blue for Youth because it matched with her dress. I also added a drawing your receipt sign and calligraphy to the bottom right because that space was like pretty empty. I did this for the other two parts of the series as well, so yeah. I think this spread turned out pretty amazing. I love the colors and the OC designs are so unique and I had an amazing time drawing all of them. I'm finally going in with a white gel pen for youth and cleaning up the edges and like adding eye highlights and everything. I think this uh, spread turned out really good like I mentioned before. I also really like the color scheme and how it kind of pulls together once I add the background which is something that I really enjoy doing. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I mentioned before, the other two parts will be linked in the description as a playlist so you can check that out and binge it if you want. So see you all next time and bye!